Hey guys, this is Amanda Cook here today, and so I have a fun new little thing to play with, so I was going to show you guys exactly what you're going to do with it and what it is. So I've seen this stuff on TV before, and I wasn't too sure, so you guys get to experience it the same time that I do. So this is called Magic Droobles. There's no glue, no heat, no mess, and this looks like something really fun to do with kids, so we're going to hope. Comes with 750 beads, seven colors, and the little spray bottle is included. So it looks like you drop the little beads on this little tray thing to different colors. You spritz it, and it's supposed to keep it together. So um, from what this looks like is it's just kind of taped. And look, look at the cute little things you can make. So it says it includes two bases, 750 beads, a spray bottle, six different templates, two car wheels. So those look kind of like buttons. Two rings, a necklace chain, a keychain. Wow, so you can make keychains with this stuff. That's pretty cool. Apparently, I don't have it all in tape yet. Because there's endless possibilities. So, here's what that part looks like. Ta da! If you hear some really wild noise, that's my stomach growling. I'll go ahead and tell you. And it is stapled here. Not much on staples. Okay, here's the instructions, and it says place the template under the plate. Well, that makes sense. Put the beads into the holes using the fancy, oh, it comes with the little cool machine thing here. Uh, once the beads are on, you spray it with the water set aside for 30 to 45 minutes and let them dry. So apparently then they sh together. And, okay, so this is really nice. Um, you can probably still use straight. I quit reading the directions because everybody does. So here's your little wheels and keychain. And, oh, it looks like you can make a little ring. Oh, that's pretty cute. We'll put that over there. Um, here is the, and it looks like you can make it in here. So that way your beads aren't going like everywhere. And then you can open your little, these little beads. And let's see. I want to kind of see one. I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Maybe we can find one that's not too difficult, not too long to be able to do. And, um, so these are all in little resealable baggies, and then it's like that, and then these look like little peas. I don't suggest eating them. They don't, you know what they smell like? They smell like glue. They smell just like Elmer's glue. I think. Anyway, I told you. It looks like a little pea. Doesn't that look like a pea? These are the green ones, of course they look like a little pea. They're not squishing. I thought they would do like those Orbeez or Obi or whatever they're called, but they're not squishing. So here is the square one. If I can get it out. It's really stuck in there. Here is the, what is the octagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexa, whatever. <laughs> There's the other one. Now this one has a flag that's backwards. It looks fine one way. I don't know. That's odd. Oh, I guess because when you do it, and then you'll flip it. Duh! Okay. So, and it comes with a little guy. And then this one has a flower and a truck. And a doodad with a flower and a snowman. So, I think we'll go with something simple. And we're just going to do this one. So, it's got little clips back here on the back. So, that's pretty neat. So, it will actually hold your card in your whichever plate so see it's actually held in there see how the little see right here you like slide your little card into it so that's pretty cute your little spray bottle is pretty tiny tiny i didn't know how big it was so i i just brought over a little cup of water yes this is from my diffuser but it has a fun little pour spout so if you have diffusers and you have one of these they have a really handy little pour spout or you can run this under the tap. Um, I would suggest that a very light, you know. Um, so you get two bags of white, so that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna cheat and I'm not gonna pour it into the little thing here. We're gonna hope I can do this. And oh, here's the tweezers. I can't pick anything up. I don't have nails anymore. And you just pick up a ball. Pick up a ball. And you drop a ball into the thing. Okay, kids would probably enjoy doing that part. I'm, I'm a mom, and I don't have time. I would rather count out how many balls I need, and then 
move them to the appropriate area. So you can do like this too. However you deem how you want to do it. Because really, they're not, as I said, they're not squishy, so it's not like you're going to wreck them. Um, that smell of glue that I told you about, you don't smell it just being out. You really don't. Here comes my little helper. Hey. We're, we're um, testing this out. Now, the fun thing is, and these are, I'm saying droobles. I'm guessing is how you're saying it, because that's what I'm going to say. Well, you can get refill packs. So you can get more of these cute little beads. And the refill packs has 2,500 beads. So if you don't know 2,500, that means that you get 2,500 beads. And here comes my little helper. He's going to come over here and help me. And all I'm doing is I am moving these little beads around. I'm going to move the camera in so you can see. See, that's what I'm doing. I know you guys like to see my hands up that close. I'm doing my little helper here. And I think it would be really good. Now, him, probably not. I wouldn't suggest a, a two-year-old have fun with one of these things. But older kids, color recognition, you know, letting them to design something would be awesome. I need one more little light one. As I said, you can, you can use these little bitty things if you want to. I and not, well, I guess orange would be cute. You think orange would be cute? Uh, mommy will quit. Uh, uh. No. Uh, quit. Quit. I think the other way you could do it is mommy. to... Yeah. So you can do it this way. Okay, I, I find that way frustrating because it doesn't want to come mommy, out. It's good at picking it up. I'll do two. Here it is. Look, you can... Here, I'll pour you some out for this one. Ah. I see for younger kids, these little, the tray, I think would be better because then you're not having to worry about um, all the little balls going all over the place, which I think is awesome. I think these are, this is pretty neat. I can't wait to see what it's like when it's actually dry. So I'm almost done. I've gotten the colors in. <gasps> Look, he got one. Look! Gives you a hand eye coordination. I don't know what the actual age is for this stuff. I would say my four-year-old would probably enjoy it. And it's probably not for a four-year-old. This is probably six, eight. I don't know. I kind of just let my kids do it. Oh, uh-oh. Boop, I'll put it back over there. So we're almost done with the green here. And again, I'm, I'm doing this my way. I, I would suggest if you are going to do this my way, that you don't have wet hands when you do it because, of course, the wet hands is... Uh-oh, you dropped some, baby. The wet hands is going to cause you to be putting them together when you shouldn't be. Because if they, if they kind of have that, that glue smell to them, chances are they're going to react to it. So if you're going to be sitting here like me and touching them because you're crazy and you don't want to use the little thingy, I think that is more for kids, and since I'm doing a quickie demo here, oh biscuits! If you have nails, I think it helps too. And look, they're already trying to stick. So it's probably the sweat from my fingers, I would say. Now I'm getting a lot on here now. Can I say that little duper? Just for a second. I'm a duper. I don't want the bead. It's it makes it a little bit more difficult to maneuver the balls around properly. So, hmm? little, little Duber came in handy just then. Little peas. They do look like little peas, don't they? So we're, we're almost done. Oh, um, that one, that one. like forever. So we're, we're at nine minutes now and I haven't got one done yet. I'm sure, I see that baby, I see it, I see. I don't need that color. I'm, I've got the only color I need right now. I've got green. But we're at nine minutes and we haven't accomplished anything yet. I got two more little beads to put down. Two beads. Two beads. Alright, so we've got our beads down. So let's see if I can. Where'd that one go down? We'll put it back. So that's nice. You can put everything back in your little tray. So hopefully I can show you that. I'm sorry. I know it's all wonky right now. 
So here is our little design. Here's the tray. And I'm going to take our little spritzer here. And I'm going to spritz it. I don't know how many spritzes we're supposed to do. So we'll just spritz her a few times. Is it doing anything? Don't really see it really doing that much. I don't know. But it's supposed to. It didn't really smell right now. Um, and that's supposed to dry and make something really cute. So we shall see. It looks cute. I've been wanting to try one of these, so I'm pretty. I'm pretty stoked. Um, let's see what happens. I'm probably gonna regret this. But there she is. Look, he got one. So, we're going to let her dry. It said 30, 45 minutes. So, that'd be pretty awesome. I think this is really cute. And look, it shows you on the back here. If you saw that one. shows you on the back of this one that you make that ring. That's the ring with the flower and the little blue thing. So, that's pretty cool. You can make 3D stuff, I'm pretty sure. Because that would be awesome. How awesome would that be? So, anyway. I like it. Magic droobles. And... Apparently, kids of all ages would really like it. Thanks, guys.